Hey guys, welcome to ET Stinden channel. This morning we are in a mood for some fresh homemade cinnamon rolls. So we are sharing this easy recipe with you for these cinnamon bites. So easy to make and delicious. For this recipe we are using 8 grams of active dry yeast, about 1 tablespoon. Add it in a large mixing bowl and add 1 cup of lukewarm milk. We are using 2% but you can also use full cream, you can use coconut milk, you can use almond milk. So mix these two ingredients together and let the yeast stand with this milk for about 10 minutes. Then we will add in other ingredients. So proceeding by adding 1 teaspoon of salt and 2 tablespoons of granulated sugar. Next 3 tablespoons of butter, so sugar is in, butter is going in, melted and one large well beaten egg. We are going to whisk these ingredients together once they are well combined then we will add in our flour. Using two and a half cups of all purpose flour, you can also use combination of all purpose and whole wheat. We will gently mix these ingredients to form a dough. Once the dough is ready, you can knead it with your hands. You don't want to knead it too much, otherwise the gluten in the bread will break. So we are mixing. The dough is coming together, it's forming. Set the fork aside and you can simply knead it to make sure everything is well combined. Now we will let it stand for at least two hours. Overnight is better because this is not instant yeast. It was traditional. So it needs some proofing. So after about two hours, when our dough has risen a little bit, then we can take small chunks of dough and we can flatten them out. So on my wooden board here, I'm going to sprinkle some flour. I'm putting my dough ball here and we are going to flatten it out with a rolling pin. Once it's nice and flat, then you can make the filling, play with some spices, so using the rolling pin, nice thin dough is formed here. We are adding butter. So two to three tablespoons. You can be as generous or work as per your preference. We'll sprinkle some brown sugar and of course tons and tons of cinnamon. Now it can't be cinnamon rolls without cinnamon, right? So cinnamon rolls require lots of cinnamon but you can also play with spices like cardamom powder, nutmeg, even fennel seeds. You can also add some walnuts and pecans so you can be as creative as you want. Just lift the edges and then roll it to form a long log of dough. So once this is formed then we can let it sit for another 5-10 minutes and then we can cut it in small pieces and put them in our baking sheet. Here I'm preparing another one. So butter, sugar and cinnamon. Spreading it carefully so that it's on the edges too. Cinnamon and sugar as per your taste, as per your requirement. Forming another log of dough. And then we'll put it in a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. That way it's easy to clean. We are preheating the oven to 350 degrees. And we'll bake them for about 35 to 40 minutes. Make sure that you leave lots of gap between the rolls so that they can rise and they still have space to move around. And that's it. We are putting them in the oven and you can see they are rising, the color is changing, they are becoming slightly brown and once they are done we take them out and we will prepare a little bit of a glaze. You can use any kind of frosting of your choice. I'm showing you a very simple one. Here I have powdered sugar. I'm adding butter and few drops of vanilla extract. Then we'll add a little bit of milk to form a glaze. I'm using coconut milk. That, will you, that way you get nice coconut flavor in the rolls. We'll continue mixing until we have glaze consistency of choice. So beating it and it looks great while the rolls are still hot. We will put this over the rolls. That way this flavor of the glaze will 
get soaked in the rolls and you can also just sprinkle some powdered sugar on top to give it a beautiful look you can use cream cheese frosting if that's what you prefer but they are delicious because they are fresh out of the oven you can keep them for a day or two but i would suggest eat them right away with a cup of tea coffee and that's it delicious brunch breakfast item is ready you can just get the dough ready and then when you are ready to bake you can make these fresh rolls they taste best straight out of the oven once cooled down and i hope you like this recipe and you'll give it a try in your own kitchen